Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing out a foundation, the KVD New Good Apple Serum Foundation. Now as we know there is the viral KVD Good Apple Balm Foundation. I didn't like that one. However, I did love the KVD Good Apple Concealer. So the next thing in the Good Apple line, I figured I might as well just keep reviewing the Good Apple line while it's here and find which products work for me. So this is the serum version of that Good Apple foundation that went viral on TikTok that was in balm form. So this new one, um, it says it's going to be a full coverage serum foundation with Good Apple skincare ingredients in it. Let me read you the full description on Ulta's website, which is where I purchased this from. It was $42. So it says the KVD Good Apple Full Coverage Serum Foundation is a transfer proof extreme long wear foundation with a natural finish and a serum light feel. You never seen natural full coverage like this. The full natural finish and full coverage doesn't make sense to me like it doesn't really make it doesn't compute because there's nothing natural about full coverage however I do like a nice lightweight feel to it so that's what we're testing out today and before we get started if you want to check out my small business theopencrypt.com I'd appreciate it yeah okay let's get started with the try on now all right guys let's go ahead and get started with the try on now if I look a little like squinty or something my eyes are very sensitive today and dry so that's why so let's talk about the shade that I got I have the shade light 006 on the bottle I'm like oh that looks really tan or on the box, it looks really tan. And then when you see the bottle, this looks way too light for me. This is the third lightest shade. And I was like, oh, this has a good undertone. It kind of matches to the light 107 shade. Like when I looked at the pictures, they look kind of comparable. Um, the foundation's so light. Like I don't know if the whole line runs light, but like I'm hoping we can make this work. Maybe with a little bit of a tinted setting powder, it'll be fine. But the component itself looks like the old KVD perfumes in a way like the Kat Von D perfumes they had Satan Center this looks like it's ooh fancy high-end but it's like a really cheap plasticky cap but the bottle feels nice so let's get started now this is supposed to be full coverage it does say it's for more uh, normal to oily skin my skin runs on the dry side however I do like serum foundations and my skin right now is very normal because it's been a little bit warmer. My skin isn't very dry right now. So I feel like because I'm more on the normal range, this should be a good test of it. But also, why would a thick, chunky balm, good apple balm, because there's a balm and a serum. Why would the balm be better for rubbing on your dry skin than a serum, which is going to be like more hydrating? I don't really understand that. So I'm going to take, let's say like two and a half pumps here. Really not that much. And I'm just going to see... Like what this first little layer looks like. This is so light. Oh my God. Oh my God. Normally like the lightest shade in a foundation range isn't very light. This is the third lightest and it's hella light. So I'm not really sure this is going to work, but we'll see. Right off the bat, it's not full coverage. Um, I will tell you it's light medium. Like it has good, uh, like a nice finish to it so far. But like I can see every, let me zoom you in. I can see every little bit of redness, every little bit of freckles. That's not full coverage. Maybe we'll have to do a second layer to get full coverage. We'll see. We will do that, but yeah. I mean, I, I'm so tired of things saying, oh, beautiful, buildable, full coverage. Um, <laughs> and they're like, not ever. However, a lot of the times when you get a full coverage can, a foundation, it's too thick on the skin, so maybe I should just be happy that this is a thinner serum formula. All right, so this is the foundation on one layer. Um, I can see a lot of the dryness on my forehead, so it does kind of enhance that dry texture on my forehead. The rest of my face looks okay. Um, it's not like the prettiest finish in the world, Maybe if you have oily skin, it'd be better on you, like it said. Um, but like my skin right now isn't very dry. It's pretty normal. So I don't know. We're going to do another layer just to build it up because it is supposed to be full coverage. I'm going to take two more pumps and we'll see if we can get better coverage on it. Right, Because right now I can see every little bit of like freckling and red. So let's see what this buildable claim is all about also if you're wondering which good apple foundation if you have dry skin 
I, I feel like that balm that everybody loved about TikTok viral and everything was very was very drying. So I don't know why that will be better on dry skin. That claim still, like I said a second ago, doesn't really make sense to me. But okay, so second layer of foundation is on. This is what I look like. It is more full coverage once I build it up the second layer. It is more full coverage. I can still see a lot of skin texture. Um, my dry forehead is very pronounced. The rest of my face, that again, is more normal. Um, I just, I can see all the texture ever that ever happened. On camera, I think it looks okay, honestly. Like, obviously, my under eyes look weird because I don't have concealer on yet. But in person, I see every little bit of texture enhanced, which is weird. But after setting powder and like blush and highlighter and everything, maybe it'll be a little bit of distraction. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed to do the rest of my vase face. I guess I'll just talk with you guys while I do it. So this video isn't like two minutes <laughs> long. As for a try on, I am going to do a long wear test of this as well. I do have a pretty packed day. I don't think I'm getting everything done I need to get done today. So we'll see during the wear test, like how it wears, especially for a more normal to dry skin. So yeah, look at this concealer. That is concealer is like way darker and way peachier <laughs> than this foundation. This is the KVD Good Apple Concealer for the record. I thought it should match. This is the only place I'm gonna do the concealer though, so that we can really test the foundation on like the majority of my face. I just need a little extra coverage on my under eyes and my one little scar here. So yeah, today I'm gonna do a long wear test of this foundation. I need to build some jewelry for my small business, theopencrypt.com, which you can check out. The, by the time you see this video, this new Easter release will be out. I know it's really early for Easter releases, but I wanted to be ahead so that like people could have these things and enjoy them before the holiday actually comes around. Because I feel like with my holiday, like my Christmas releases, some of my products were like a little bit too late um, to the party. So I thought maybe releasing something early and ahead of time. That way when the holiday comes around, people would already have their jewelry for it. So yeah, that was my thought. So that will be up on my website by the time you see this video. And then also... Like my main website, theopencrypt.com has 90% of my products, right? Has all my products. There's only like maybe 30% on my Etsy, but on my Etsy, I do have vintage products that I had thrifted or estate sailed or salvaged um, up there as well. Not many, but a few. There's some cutesy things like kind of cottagecore, foresty animal pictures for your wall and vintage photographs that I got from an estate sale as well. I bundled them in like big bundles of 20 or 30 pictures and you know, you could use them for art projects, to collect them as vintage things, to look at, you know, anything. So those are on the Etsy if you're interested in a couple vintage pieces. I do set my under eye powder with a sponge so it really locks down and doesn't crease on me. And the setting powder that I'm using for my entire face today is the Anastasia Beverly Hills in vanilla. Because I just really like it. I could have used um, like a more tinted powder for this because it's like a really fair foundation. But I really like how this one wears. So I'm going to wear this one. I'm setting the rest of my face with a brush. And by setting it with powder is giving my foundation the best chance of like wearing really prettily through the day so like you know it has the best chance of long wear which with the long wear test I feel like is the best thing to do I could do it with like no setting powder and do a test that way but that's not me like I need to set my face I don't know if I mentioned uh what I used to prime my face I did prime with a very moisturizing primer the cool as a cucumber from Ofra um again so my skin would be moisturized and have the best chance of this foundation looking beautiful. I did that beforehand. And as far as my project pan goes, this is actually my last use of the Cools of Cucumber because I completely finished it. Like, that's a little project pan update. I completely finished that product. So this was my last use of it. I'm very happy with 
my progress on like trying to use up products. And for contour today, I'm using the Kaleidos Contour Palette in Fair. Fair or light? Which one's it called? Light. They only have light. They don't have a fair one. So using that and hiding my double chin. Also, hope you guys had a good weekend. I didn't post during the weekend. I've been trying to, like, I'm doing three videos a week. Four if I can fit one in, you know, because I always want to post more content. Um, but I've been posting shorts on Fridays. I feel like Fridays people are going out and they're going to be out for the weekend and stuff. So I haven't really been posting videos on Fridays and Saturdays for a while. I mean, maybe once in a while here and there. But I've been posting a short, like a YouTube short on Fridays for the last two weeks. And I didn't know how they would do, but they're doing pretty well. So I'm excited. Honestly, it's just stuff that I post on my TikTok. Like I found something in the trash and it was a pretty mirror and I posted on TikTok and it did well. So I was like, hey, why don't I just try a YouTube short? And it did really well. Um, so I decided like, I've been trying to post a TikTok every day. Not, you know, if I miss a day, I don't care. Um, but I decided like once a week, since a lot of people don't use TikTok, they just use YouTube or vice versa. I would just post like, a TikTok on YouTube every Friday. So I know it's what a lot of people do. So I figured it was worth a shot. But there will never be any filters on my YouTube videos, stuff like that. I do use them on TikTok sometimes because they just look so cute and they're easy. Um, but on YouTube, there's never a filter. So maybe on the YouTube short because it is a TikTok, but like on my YouTube videos like this one, no, nah, I don't, I don't do that. All right, so here's my base face now. I have to finish the bottom of my eyeshadow and put lips on and everything. But as far as the base for the foundation and everything, here it is. Honestly, I think it looks really nice. I do see a lot of skin texture. Maybe it's because my skin is, you know, considerably dry. But right now it's normal. So um, I don't think it should show this much texture. It does. It doesn't really cling to my nose the best in the world. But it's not. I've definitely had worse foundations. Um, they don't stick to my nose. I honestly think it looks really nice, except for my forehead. So if you have any dry patches, I would just like pfft, skip this foundation. Um, but especially in the summer when my skin is more normal, I feel like it's going to look really pretty. And I haven't even set it down like setting spray or anything to settle the powder down yet. So let me go finish it all, show you the finished enchilada. That sounds really good right now. I'm starving. And <laughs> yeah, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so this is the finished look. What do we think? I mean, it's a lot. It's really dark, isn't it, with my hair? And this really pale foundation and a dark lip. Like, I thought it was going to be cute. I feel like it's kind of a lot, but, you know, whatever. I like the lip. So, yeah, this is the finished look. I honestly think that the foundation looks really pretty right now. I'm not sure how it's going to wear. We're going to do a five-hour wear test. I feel like that should be enough time for me to know whether or not I'm going to like it long term. Um, looking at it in the mirror though, it does look really pretty. Like I do see my texture like on my forehead where it's a little more dry, but like, I don't really care. Like texture's normal. Everyone has it, whether the, the filters on everything tells you that or not. Like it's, it's real life and it's not like it looks ugly. Like it's just texture. So I think it looks okay, especially considering the rest of my face looks really smooth, really evened out. I think it is full coverage, not like perfect full coverage. Cause you do have to build it up but it looks pretty. Um, so yeah, this is the look. Let me know what you think. Let's do the wear time test now as I do a bunch of stuff today. I'm gonna be pretty busy, so it should be a good wear time test without like the heat, cause obviously it's still cold. But like an everyday wear time test, I think it's gonna be fine. Okay, I came outside to show you what it looks like in like direct lighting, but my eyes are too sensitive. So here's what it looks like in a different lighting though. It looks okay. It does feel very lightweight, which is nice. Um, and it does feel very matte which I enjoy because I don't like to touch up my makeup through the day. But it is too light, it's too light. <laughs> okay, two hour check-in now. I had lunch, built some of those jewelry things I was talking about. Um, so it's kind of separate on my nose, but the rest of my foundation like looks really good. Even the texture on my forehead, like I'm not even focusing on because I did a bold lip. I feel like it really just, you don't even notice the texture really. Um, it looks good, I like it a lot. So far, we'll see. All right guys, so our long wear test, it's only been five hours, but it's like a decent long wear test, is now complete. How are we feeling about the foundation? It looks pretty good. Like you can see it's a little separate. It was already separated on my nose a little bit and around my 
like uh, nostrils here. It's kind of separated a little bit. So as far as my foundation goes though, I do see it's not worn the best on my chin either when I look in the mirror. Um, right here on my chin, it's like lost a little bit of coverage, but it's not that bad. I mean, I have been doing stuff, um, you know, normal everyday things. I haven't been like exercising or like running out of the house to do errands, but things here and there. So yeah, overall, I think it looks really good. I have lost a little bit of coverage on my chin and a little bit on the side of my nose where I do, or if I was going to get oily, that's where I would get oily at. Again, my textured forehead is on show, but that is the driest part of my face. And it said it's not recommended for like, it's not ideal for dry skin. So my face is normal. It looks really good. Still like my cheeks look nice. Yeah, I don't think it's like perfect, supreme, like best long wear thing of my life, but I think it's a pretty finish and it feels very lightweight on the skin. So I appreciate that. Like sometimes when you're wearing a full coverage foundation, it feels heavy on the skin and I'm not a fan of that, um, but this actually feels really comfortable still. So yeah. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Let me know what you think down below. Yeah. Oh, let me show you my giant shirt. I got it from Teen Hearts. It's like a metal theme, but it says Spice Girls. Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't wait to wear it. It was so cute. And then the next video you'll really be seeing from me, maybe the Chucky and Tiffany collection from Glam Light that just showed up my doorstep and I wasn't expecting. So there's that. And then also here are some of the little earrings up close. These little carrot ones I'm keeping for myself. So yeah, in case you're wondering what I was building today, I did show you earlier in the video, but like here's like an in-video close-up of them. They're really cute. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. This outro has been all over the place. I apologize for that, but I will see you later. Have a lovely and safe day wherever you are. Okay. Bye guys.